Alright guys, I'm super excited. Here we are. We've arrived to the thing I most wanted to see here in Georgia uh, with fantastic, amazing views. Uh, I'll get to that in a second. I'll show you in a second. So this is the Russia and Georgia Friendship Monument, high up in the Caucasus Mountains. You can see the two years up at the top there. 1783 and 1983. So this was built during uh, Soviet times to commemorate a document that was written in 1783 on the 200th anniversary of a document that said that whenever Georgia was in need, Russia would be there to help. And if you look to the left side, you'll see a representation of the Georgian people and their culture. In the middle, we have the church, the union of the two empires, and then to the right, the Russians. This place is absolutely fantastic. This is really incredible. Let's have a little wander over here and have a look at the view through the mountains. Absolutely unreal shots here guys and unreal scenery and to be honest this is the first time in my life that I've um I've been in snow like this before so <laughs> this is really fun but I know my boots are gonna be very wet later so I might have to <laughs> oh shit have to take them off and dust them down in a little bit. This place is this place is really really cool. This is probably one of the highlights of my trip so far. The view of the mountains is just incredible. Absolutely incredible. Who would have thought that my favorite Soviet monument would be here in the mountains of Georgia? Well, I like it more for the views than the monument, but the monument is pretty special too. Made it to our final destination for the day. Way up there, and I'm filming here because it's a little bit windy, so I'm sure that up there it's going to be a thousand times worse. It's a lot colder here as well. We are literally in the heart of the Caucasus Mountains. This is really cool once again. Awesome views from all angles. Get a load of this. with Russia is only about 15 kilometers up the road there so that's kind of cool to think about how big <laughs> that country is it stretches all the way over to here anyway this is our next destination up the top of the mountain there to the monastery one of the most famous sites of Georgia but our van doesn't go up there so how are we getting up there it's one of these little four-wheel drives
And in the distance you can see Kazbegi Mountain, that is the biggest mountain in Georgia. Absolutely huge. Alright guys, so we're back in the city, we're back in Tbilisi. Uh, my hostel is just over there, it's time to hit the sack in a moment, I'm really tired from today. I hope you enjoyed the, the videos and the footage, uh, for me it was like a really 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 special and cool day. Growing up in Australia I don't really get to see too much snow, so I think that's probably like the third or fourth time in my life that I've seen snow and to be able to like walk in it and see mountains covered in it was just really really special for me. So. Uh, yeah, really cool day for me. Tomorrow is my last full day in Tbilisi. And so we're gonna be walking through the old town. We're gonna be looking at some of the main sites. We are going to try to squeeze as much as possible into a long day. And tomorrow we have a guest as well. One of my good friends is coming to visit me. He should be here any moment now. So I'm gonna go into the hostel, get myself comfortable. And then I kind of have to actually duck out and pick him up and then bring him back here so we can get to sleep. 
Uh, he'll be with us tomorrow. Hopefully, <laughs> he's not too camera shy because he's a real character and it would be really good to have him on film. Anyway, like I said, so we'll be going to the old town, doing some things around there, uh, and then going out for a wild New Year's party. I can't promise that I'm gonna film that because I don't know if I'm gonna take my camera or not, but it's gonna be a good day, pinky promise. Have a good night, guys. Catch you later.